Hi everyone, in this three-part series I'm sharing with you why SEO is so important for your business. Now I mentioned in the previous video, if you haven't seen it, please click here before. SEO is important to develop your e-commerce business long term and there's two essential elements which will help you achieve that. In this video we're going to talk about the first element which is on-site SEO. There's also off-site SEO but we leave that for the next one. So let's take a look at what it's all about. So why is on-site SEO so important for your overall SEO plan? Well, firstly, if your website is well designed, <coughs> excuse me. So if your website is well designed in an SEO friendly way, there'll be lots of ways of making your metadata clear, clean, crisp, naturally written text with good keywords, no keyword stuffing as they would say, which was very common practice years ago, good page titles and really research your keywords. Now if your web company is really good, they'll have a best practice document that they'll be able to give you in order to help you fill in all of the proper SEO on-site work so that it's really efficient and ultimately very Google friendly. Unique content in this sense is still very valid and it sometimes can be quite hard. How do you come up with unique content for some of the boring keywords that I have to use on my site? It's still important and as a rule of thumb, no duplicate content because this still gets punished. There are still ways of that being flagged. And even if you Google good SEO on-site tips, you'll find the companies that come up first are at least practicing what they preach and therefore their own sites have come up fairly well in search, so they should be able to help you make yours work out too, if it is well designed from the outset. Now there is an element of patience involved in the whole on-site SEO end of things, and you have to be in it for the long haul. You can't just pop the things in and just hope that it immediately gains traction. I really don't even like this aspect of SEO, which is bad. I wish it didn't exist at all. I wish I didn't even have to deal with it, but we do. So we have to work on it and we have to just hack our way through it and hope that we can manage to sort out what the best practice is and apply it to our own e-commerce websites. You need to be adding content on a regular basis for the keywords that you're interested in. And this can be done by means of your blog and by means of your content which you're adding on a regular basis. Anyways, on-site SEO is also changing every now and again so you have to be aware of this and adapt accordingly. Always remember too that just because you rank number one in Google for the keywords that you're listed under doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to convert into sales. If there are other aspects of your site that aren't really working well and aren't conducive to selling, well then you may see a great website, but what's the point if it doesn't convert? There are some tools that you can use to see how your site performs anyway on Google. Things like the Google Webmaster tools are a good start and there's loads of videos out there as to how to get started in using them to see how well your site ranks within Google and within the major search engines. Anyways, it's not an easy theme. I hope it's helped just at least to refresh your memory on the importance of on-site SEO. Don't forget to check out my other videos here if you're on a PC or down below if you're on a mobile. And please do give me your thoughts on this issue. You can also download my free resource guide below. And I look forward to seeing you again for the third and final part of this SEO mini series, which will be about off-site SEO. We'll see you again. Bye-bye. Hi everyone, in this three part share, I love it. Always the best. Hello.